and welcome to Catherine Kim Mullen. I am so happy to have you here joining us from yet another travel destination. And I cannot wait to hear your topic. And with this, I'm going to go ahead and give you the stage, okay? Oh, thank you. Can Vivian. we hear you? Thank you very much. Awesome. Cool. I can hear you. Can loud you hear me? Awesome. Thank you. Perfect. Perfect. I can hear you. Perfect. Thank You're you. good to go. Thank you so much. <laughs> Perfect. Thanks. So I really want to, before I even get started, want to say, Pollyanna, thank you. You you know, when as entrepreneurs and business people, and I've been in business for 34 years, so those are the things, we always look at the ICA, Ideal Client Avatar. Well, I have to tell you, business people, we've just got some great insight here. IPA, <laughs> Ideal Publicity Avatar. Like, really great stuff. I look forward to listening to it later uh, today. And Haley, always a pleasure, and thank you for giving me the opportunity to uh, work with you and your community that I feel a big part of. Kareen, my partner, is in here to join, and I've been fortunate enough to join forces with um, a former editor-in-chief of uh, Chatelaine, and I hope that I, I'm allowed to say that. In any case, uh, I get a lot of help <laughs> with making sure the words come out right, especially in writing. Today, what I want to talk and share about really goes hand in hand with publicity, marketing, and everything else. I was fortunate enough to get Haley Gray's book, uh, Fearless Marketing, and covering all of that that I wished I got much earlier. And I'll tell you that I realize the part I do, I now know what the value is. And today I want to share just a snippet of information called Life on a 3 by 5 So what does that mean? Well, it's about being conscious of filling your three by five index card. So if you imagine your life and it's the size of a three by five index card, we want to make a cake. We pull out a recipe. Everything's there and we follow it. We tweak it a bit. We change it a bit. We adapt and we end up with a wonderful cake. You know, it all fits on a three by five. We live our life which is so important. And more often than not, we don't have a three by five ready. We, it only fits, there's only a certain amount of time and space. So the decisions we make now, they have to be worthy, worthy of our time, worthy of us. And we have to focus on us so that we could serve anybody else. So for me today, I really want to show you how to do that with three steps. I want to introduce you to one, live your life by design, how you can do that, number two, and number three, love and the importance of it. It's a proper time to talk about it. It's uh, that week, isn't it? The week of love where we spread it and there's so much power in it. So let's start with live your life by design. So we've talked about the three by five card. So I want you to, to think about that. We're limited in our life. Why, why do we want to choose and make decisions and really focus on who, who we are, who, who we want to be, even more important, never mind who we were, and even forget about who you are now. Who do you want to be? And what do you want in the future? What do you want your life to be? You can take a look at what you've done. You can look at what you're doing now. But really what it's all about is where do you want to step? Where do you want to walk to? And why? And why for you personally? And then why much bigger? The driving force that you just will back away from, no matter what obstacle hits your way. So at Sage Navigation, that is the purpose and the reason we exist. And when you think of business, you know, you need to know. You need to know who you want to be so that today you're actually living that. You need to know before you do branding, before you do marketing, what you want. So often people go out and they'll wonder why there's contradictions. But did they invest the time, like making a recipe? Did they take the time to put everything nice and tight and focus so that they know what they want? So that the person they're working with, whether it's in publicity or marketing or, or whether they're doing it themselves, 
they're able to build that to reflect so that somebody else gets them. So I used to call marketing when I was doing it in guru marketing, I think they call it, that would date me and age me, but that's okay. I, I used to say, you getting you and others seeing you. If you get you, others will see you. You hire experts and they help you get there, but you have to get you. So it starts there. Now, my second point that I wanted to bring up today was how. How does it work? How, do, how does it work personally? How does it work in business? It's the same formula. The reason I do some of the things I do today with the people I do them is because I've applied some multi-million dollar formulas to live in life by design. And what does that look like? Well, what it looks like is you want emotional wealth, especially for business, because it's going to take your heart. So you want to make sure you're strong. You want to make sure in each dimension of life, each area, we call it the pillars of your life, those five pillars. Socially, we want to talk about what does that look like? Your social well-being. You want to have social wealth. What you're giving back to the universe what you're giving back to your family, what you bring to everybody is so important. And remember the three by five, right? Social is a part of that card. Now we go to your mental wealth. And I'm not talking about mental health and wellness in the field of psychology. I'm talking about what you're feeding your mind. What books are you reading? What movies are you, are you watching? What music are you listening to? What are you feeding your mind mental wealth? What seminars are you going to? Are you investing in you? Because that's what it's about. It's about you getting you so others see you. Now, when we finish with mental, we'll go to physical. Often we'll say physically, physically fit. And we think of our body. But everything, travel, me being in Newfoundland today, and I'm not dressed for business. I'm dressed to go skiing. So I'm looking forward to going the mountain full of snow. But I do live my life by design. And my pillars are very full. And I live them well. They fit on a three by five. Physical for me is travel. Physical is the bed I sleep in. Physical is everything I buy. Everything I do. Everything I eat. Like physically. Now, let's go to spiritual. You know, the key in spirituality for me is faith. But faith where? Faith in me. Because if I have faith in me, I know what it's about. I believe in me. I'll be able to believe in you. I'll be able to contribute. I will make an impact and a difference. So now I've hit financial. That's such an important one as well. You know, know what you want. Because there's an abundant out there and you only need enough to live the life you want to live. So I'm sitting here and I've done social and I've done mental and I've done physical and I've done spiritual and I've done financial. There's five dimensions. Those, everything hits all of this. In social, you have your family, friends, relationships. So you want to have a good understanding there and you want to have some objectives in each area and you want to focus on one thing. One thing in the center, what's your key focus? What do you really want right now? That goal, you would say, that vision. And you have to make sure that it's in alignment with the rest of your life. And you have to work on, on one thing at a time every day, taking steps towards it. And, you know, what do you stand for? So that on your three by five, you know how to say no. You know, Marie Forleo talks about a no train. That was a hard one for me. I don't say no easily. So what do you stand for? And make sure that you're always true to yourself. Now, I want to get to the last thing, which is love. We make all of our decisions. Because remember, what we're talking about is the decisions you make that are worthy for your life and you. You want to be conscious of what you're filling your card with. You want to know what you're putting in your recipe. So can you imagine if I make uh, and I'm trying to imagine me putting soya sauce in a chocolate cake. Maybe it'll be good. And Haley may 
tell me of some wonderful recipe that can, has it. But I think you got the picture of what I'm trying to say. Create the recipe of your life. Let's talk about love. You know, we make decisions based on love and fear. We do and don't do things based on those two things. One of the things that I'm concerned about all the time is making sure anybody I work with, whether it's in my business, in commercial real estate, or it's with a senior trying to figure what they want to do next, or a child or a woman, doesn't matter who it is. The key is, do you love yourself? So I want you all to repeat after me. This is how I want to really end with these last few things. If you're alone, then you can yell it. And you make sure to yell it because I want you to feel the vibration. And if you're not alone and you're with a bunch of people, at least think it or whisper it to yourself. But please repeat after me. I love me. I love me. I love me. Because when you're loving you, that's going to glow and other people will get you and you'll be able to love more with them as well. And many of your decisions will feel that feeling. That's the feeling you want. If you're feeling that good feeling, that's what you want to jump on. That's what you want to spend your time on, on in your life. Now, you know, money is the thing because we're all entrepreneurs in here. Women's Entrepreneur Network. So I, I want to say, here's a harder one because we ran a <laughs> something called fall in love with money. So I want you to do this now. I love money. I love money. I love money because money is a tool and resource to get everything you want. And you know, in our book club, we read a book called The Boy, The Mule, The Fox, and, and The Horse. What a book. And at one point it says, there's a horse and a boy. You fell, but I've got you. And that's what a community is. A community is that feeling. So thank you, Haley. I always feel like I've got you. And you know, I end when I look at any of my clients and I say, I wish you could see you through my eyes. Why? Because I see beauty. And I really make sure my three by five works well. I wish that for all of you. Thank you, Haley. Thank you, everybody that's here. Catherine Kim Mullen, have a great day. Hey there, thank you so much for doing this. I love money, I love myself. Boy, it can be hard to say those things. <laughs> it really can. It is, Haley, it really is. And especially for women, because we're so busy loving everybody else and caring for them. Absolutely. So, so how would somebody- You, know, you, you believe in that thing when women so Mm-hmm, absolutely. Now, how would Everybody somebody go about, you know, uh, well, I can put it in the chat when I leave here. Okay. Ooh. Yep. Okay. I I'll think... put it in the chat, sagenavigation.ca. We're doing a wonderful event that you might want. It's free. You could register for it and get the scroll, which is the workbook, and it'll be a lot of fun. And you know something? The fact, like the part that I'm talking about, if you're an entrepreneur, if you're a woman, you definitely want to do that that work before because when you get to like Haley's putting on a retreat doing the marketing, when you get you and you put it that concise, Haley's going to make magic with you. She's going to put you on the map. 76,000 people. What do you think is going to happen with you? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. You. I'll put it in the chat, sagenavigation.ca. And um, you can go on there and I'll put whatever I need in there. Reach out to me. I'm in Haley's group and uh, have a awesome. wonderful day. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here. And with that, we're going to play musical speakers. And